fraud is defined in law as the willful use of deception to obtain unfairly or illegally gain or to deny a victim of a legitimate right. Fraud can be a violation of civil law. A victim of fraud may sue the perpetrator to stop the fraud or recover financial compensation. Criminal law, a perpetrator of fraud may face legal action and imprisonment from the government, or it may not result in the loss of any money, property, or legal rights, but still be a component of another civil or criminal wrong. The goal of fraud may be financial gain or other benefits, such as getting a passport, travel document, or driver's license, or it may be mortgage fraud, where the offender makes false claims in an effort to qualify for a mortgage. Welcome to today's episode of Fraud Files. Today, we will be talking about the case of a man who ran a Ponzi scheme with total losses of $1.4 million from behind bars and was given an additional eight years in prison. The most shocking bit of this story is that the Ponzi scheme was all done while this man was already serving prison time for previous fraud convictions. To get all the details in this story, make sure you watch till the end, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to become part of this channel and click the bell icon to get notified of our subsequent videos. Let's get started. U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Texas Chad E. Meacham announced that a California man who ran a 1.4 million Ponzi scheme from behind bars while serving time on another fraud conviction was sentenced to eight additional years in federal prison. The sentence was handed down to the man who was already serving time on another fraud conviction. In November 2021, Michael David Carroll, 46, from Long Beach, California, entered a guilty plea to the charge of wire fraud. Yesterday, U.S. District Judge David C. Godbury handed down the punishment, and he also ordered the defendant to make restitution to the tune of $1,346,499.90 to the victims of his crimes. This defendant had the audacity to mount a million-dollar Ponzi scheme without serving time for a prior fraud, but for a second time, his avarice caught up with him. A federal judge more than doubled his sentence, said U.S. Attorney Chad Meacham. The U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI are determined to hold accountable those who defraud honest investors. The defendant deceived dozens of investors to preserve his complex financial scheme and fund a lavish lifestyle. Many Ponzi scheme victims do not recover their investment and are often left financially devastated, said FBI Dallas Special Agent in Charge Matthew DeSarno. The FBI will continue working with our partners to hold individuals accountable for defrauding investors and robbing them of their livelihood. We encourage the public to thoroughly research investment opportunities and to report any potential fraud to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center at ic3.gov. This specific case makes you wonder if the additional prison sentence will correct this individual's behavior in the future. Here at Fraud Files, we doubt it. According to the documents filed with the court, in September 2017, Mr. Carroll lied to investors about his intention to secure funding for their ventures and invest their funds into legitimate investment ventures. At the time, Mr. Carroll was already 36 months into a 70-month sentence for an earlier conviction of fraud. He admitted that he pitched investors on bridge loans, which are short-term loans used to buy assets or cover obligations until longer-term financing is found, promising rates of return of 40 to 50 percent in just one to three months. Bridge loans are short-term loans used to buy assets or cover obligations until longer-term financing is found. He asserted that each bridge loan was guaranteed because it was backed by a bank. He hid the fact that he had been convicted of felony, and, when questioned about it, he said that he was the victim of a false accusation and that the charges against him were dropped. However, instead of genuinely investing the money, he set up a Ponzi scheme in which he secretly used the funds from new investors to make payouts to older investors who had previously invested. They were lulled into a false sense of security and encouraged to make more fraudulent investments as a result of this, which led them to believe that their investments were producing returns despite the fact that this was a lie. He funded his extravagant lifestyle with the extra money he made from his scam, which included paying for a private jet service, luxury vehicles, high-end eating, and suites at NFL games, among other things. He defrauded more than two dozen people out of a total of at least $1.4 million by inducing multiple fraudulent transfers from investor accounts into accounts associated with his companies, MCC Holdings, SLI Holdings, and STR America Holdings. He preyed on people who were vulnerable and took advantage of them. Mr. Carroll is detained in the Federal Penitentiary Institution that is located in Seagoville, Texas at the present time. 
one has to question our prison system that allows criminals to conduct a fraud operation of this magnitude behind bars. The inquiry was headed by agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation's Dallas field office. The prosecution of the case was handled by Assistant U.S. Attorney Dimitri Roca, with assistance by Auditor Sheila Powell. And here we come to the end of today's episode of Fraud Files regarding a man who ran a Ponzi scheme with total losses of $1.4 million from behind bars and was given an additional eight years in prison. Please subscribe to our channel and push on that like button. Stay tuned to our channel for amazing videos like this one by clicking the bell icon. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below about this event. We'll see you in another Fraud Files soon.